Hello, good morning everyone. Well, at least it's morning here when I make this video. Um, today's video, I want to have a quick look at the solar panels I just bought. If you have seen my recent videos, you know I bought a used solar system, a 1.5 kilowatt system with inverter, which we don't need because we will take the garage off grid. And today I want to have a look at the rails and how I can arrange the actual solar panels on my garage. So you can see I've got already two panels up there. Here they are. These are only 40 watt panels for yeah, testing on my workbench, doing some experiments with solar charge controllers and something. Um, but I really want to have a look how to arrange these panels on top of the roof. So I want to see how long these are. 310. 310 they are. And the panels are less than a meter. So we're we getting... Yeah, we will get three of these panels next to each other on this smaller rail. Ah, look at this, lots of shading, lots of shading here. Yeah, this is the sun in winter time now. We've got these big massive gum trees here around the garage and sheds. So we'll have only this little gap full sunshine in winter. And then the next tree comes and then the sun goes down this way and there will be no not much sun coming through, but in summertime the sun comes and will stay just above us all the time and goes down this way, so there will be almost no shading here. So we've got some screws here, we've got another row there, there's one and there's the fourth one. And the rail system actually comes with this, um, yeah, this is for concrete tiles, for roof concrete tiles here. But I probably just reuse them because this is all stainless steel. So, so if I do it like this, I'm getting these uh, three panels, one, two, three, and I still got a little bit of space to these solar panels. But then I thought, if I, huh, look at this. This fits perfect here and also fits perfect down here. Okay, I need to clean the gutter. And then I've got my panels this way. One, two, three. Let's measure the height. One, six, five. So this would mean one, six, five is right here. And how much space do I have? Oh, one, six, five is here. And we still got some space to the other panels. Oh, that's interesting. So I can have one, two, three, four, five, six panels and still have a gap to these panels. So I don't need to move them at all, which I was expecting. Then I get six panels on here. That's 1.2 kilowatt just on this area. And this is only one quarter of my garage space. And I would have enough space for more panels here, more panels there, more panels on the carport and more panels on the shed. It sounds like 15 to 20 kilowatts easily <laughs> in the future, in the future. But this would be all right. Because these rails are three meters long and this is exactly what the garage roof is long. So perfect. Let's do that. Yeah, and these mounts are adjustable. So I can just push them a little bit back. 
so they fit under these screws. I've got one, two, three, four points where I can mount them if I have to. But two should be all right. I'll start with these six ones and see how far I can charge the battery. I will connect only three at the beginning. So this is a 660 watt, 650 watts all in total. And well, we've got the shading on here, of course. So I will see how far I can get with three panels connected to the battery, how much energy this actually does deliver. And then we can have a second charge controller on the other three panels in parallel, charging the same battery. And then we can compare different charge controllers and different connection methods for the uh, panels, parallel or series. I will explain this in all details, of course, once we are getting to mount these rails, which I will do probably on the weekend. So that's the plan. One rail, two rails, and then put the panels this way. Okay, guys, so far the video from the off-grid garage for today. Just a bit of a thinking process at the moment to get everything organized. Batteries are sent, they are on the way. Shouldn't be too far off, maybe two or three weeks. Solar charge controller is here. The panels are here. The rail system is here. I'm waiting for some nuts and bolts to mount these panels on this rail system. So you need these um, special clamps. They have like an offset left and right. And then of course these ones, the end clamps. I have only two of them for some reason. I don't know, they have... Yeah, obviously they haven't collected the other ones when they took the system down. But that's fine, I'm ordering them as well. They are not, they're not too expensive, they are only three or four dollars each. And you need to watch the height here. This needs to match your solar panels. So this one fits perfectly. So this is all on the way. I'm super excited. And look at this beautiful weather here. And this 5.1 kilowatt system here is producing energy all day long. If the inverter works. <laughs> but now we are starting the off-grid system here in Andy's garage. So this will be a very exciting project and I cannot wait to start. I'm super excited. All right, peeps, so far this video from the off-grid garage for today. A little bit of a thinking process more than anything else. Just to get your head around how to arrange these solar panels on, on the garage. I think this is a good solution. So I'm really keen to get started now and put these babies on the roof cable them and then get some energy into the battery. Okay guys, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.